understanding the database. Tiamo and T-Base software. Here you will learn the most important functions of the database of your Tiamo and T-Base software. First, open the database window of your software. To open a database, click the button, Open an existing database, select it from the list and press, Open. In the upper menu, we have some buttons to filter the determinations of the database, in order to facilitate the manipulation of the information. The quick filter, is the best way to get started understanding filter tools. Just click on the button, and then double click on what you want to filter. For example, see all the determinations made in the method validation. To undo the filter, just click the remove applied filter button. You can also use the function, search, when you need to find a sample with a specific information. This function is recommended, when we have many analyzes in the database. Press the search button. In search options, you can choose to search for a text, number, or a date. Here, we show two examples, starting with a text. Let's search the word, new. And press the button, search next. Notice in the database, that an analysis that has this word is highlighted. Press search next again and see that the next line is highlighted in the database. If there is no more data with this word, the search will be finished. Now let's look up a date. Select date, click the ellipsis button next to, search word. Choose the date you want and click, OK. Click, search next. You will find in the database that, the analyzes performed on this date, are highlighted. To find another analysis performed on this date, click the button, search next. The function, define special filter, being a more advanced search tool, will be explained in another video. If you want to see the method, used in the selected determination, just click on the button, show method of the focus determination. To see the parameters of the method, double click over the green command. You can also save the method by pressing the button, Save As. To overlay titration curves, just select the samples and press the button, Overlay curves of the selected determinations. You will need to create a template by pressing the button, Templates. Press the button, New. Give a name to the template. Choose the titration type by selecting the command type used in the determination. If you don't know which one is your analysis, just look at the upper left side of the titration curve. Now, press OK. Close the window. You'll see the overlaid titration curves. Last but not least, we will see the reprocess function. This function is very important, especially when there's some typing error, like mass or the sample name, or, when there's an error in the calculation, or problems in recognizing the equivalence points. Select the sample that you want to change some information. Press the button, Reprocess Selected Determination. To correct some typing error, just double-click on the incorrect information. In the next window, enter the correct value, and press, OK. 
Press the button, recalculate. And press, OK. Now we will correct a mass error. Double click on the line of the sample size. Change the value of the mass and press OK. This is the result before the recalculate. Now press the button, recalculate. You can see that the result was changed. If we have an analysis with EP recognition problems, we have to change the method. Select the Method tab. Press the button, Modify Method. Double click on the green titration command. Select the tab, Potential Metric Evaluation. Change the EP recognition to, All. Press, OK. You can see that, before the recalculation, the result is invalid. Press the button, Recalculate. Now you can see that the result is valid. If there's an error in the calculation, you will need to change the calculation in the method by pressing, Modify Method. Double click on the blue command, Calc. You can change the calculus by double clicking the calculation line. Or, you can add a new calculation by pressing, New. Press, Next. Give a name to your result. Click on the Formula Editor button. You can navigate through the left menu, and add the components to your formula. There are a lot of possibilities that you can choose to edit your formula. If you need more information about this tool, please contact your Metrums vendor. If you want to save the modifications in your method, or even in a new one, open the Recalculate window. Select the Method tab. Press the button, Save As.